You know, everybody has their own take on practicing and everybody has their own suggestions as to what works and what doesn't work. And I think it's all valid. But um, what we want to do today is, is just share some, some things that you may have heard in the past and some solid ways to practice and make your practice more effective. I think the first thing to discuss is developing a good solid practice routine. And what I've found is that uh, students sometimes are a little undisciplined and unfocused and they end up practicing the same thing over and over and over. They practice what they can do already. So it's very important to come up with some kind of plan that you can work with that you can repeat on a daily basis and you see solid progress at the end of every practice session. And I'll discuss this in great detail in future lessons, but uh, basically the, the concept goes like this. I think the practice routine needs four elements to it. The first is technique. Of course, that means hand technique, feet technique, uh, ride cymbal, brushes. Then we have styles. And that's, of course, the knowledge of all the different styles of music and of drumming, jazz, rock, and Latin. And this involves listening as well. The third element is reading. Uh, I found over the years that, that a lot of drummers don't practice reading, and that's actually one of their biggest problems. So reading is a big one, and that has to be in the routine. And then the fourth one, the fourth area would be soloing. And that's another one that that I think drummers take for granted oftentimes. So soloing needs to be a part of your practice routine and that actually can be the most fun part. So those are the four elements, technique, styles, reading, and soloing.